The Cincinnati deaths occurred when rock fans anxious to get into the concert pushed towards the closed doors and 11 people were trampled. After a tragedy like the one in Cincinnati, one wonders could something like that happen here in Tidewater? The answer is a resounding and frightening yes. I suppose, Mike, it's like an airplane. Uh, there's always a possibility that there can be an accident uh, in causing injury. There are two basic problems. First, rock groups don't like fans in the concert hall early while they are testing the equipment. Even if the crowds are getting dangerously large outside, officials are afraid to offend the performers. We are fooling with uh, some very uh, temperamental artist and uh, they may uh, say well, we just won't play this building so then you've got another problem. So in other words you have to keep the doors closed to please the artists? Well that's uh, basically the people who are requiring us to keep the doors closed. The second and perhaps most dangerous problem stems from festival seating, a practice that allows more tickets to be sold by removing all the chairs from the main floor and not selling any reserved seats. But with festival seating, people then are in more of a hurry to get into the building because they don't have a reserved seat. Isn't that more dangerous? Well, that's one way of looking at it, but uh, it all ba uh, comes back to the bottom line. The larger capacity, the greater the profits, the gross. And so uh, this is what it's all about, uh, how many dollars they can get out of a show. Greenwell says the Coliseum is looking at ways to make shows safer, but he doesn't foresee an end to festival seating. Meantime, Norfolk Scope Director Abby Bell says he thinks concert goers are milder here in Norfolk than Cincinnati, and he foresees no change in scope policy. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News.